Uh, bonjour and uh, welcome to Paris. I'm sitting with my very dear friend John Baxter, author of his uh, the third volume in his memoir, Immovable Feast, an homage to Ernest Hemingway and the Paris in the 20s, and a reflection on the 18 Christmas dinners he's prepared because his wife, Marie Dominique, who is all charming, uh, cannot cook. And uh, John, talk a little bit about Christmas in Paris and particularly about your most recent meal, the roast suckling pig that we recently replicated at Le Mestre on October 20th. Yes, this is very true. Everything you say, uh, as, you, as they say, true. Every, everything you say is so true that the truth is a lie in comparison. Uh, this is a tribute uh, to, or an homage to, Ernest Hemingway's movable feast. Uh, and I, in it I describe, as you say, the fact that uh, because I married into a family of academics, painters, sculptors and writers, none of them can cook. They are the only French women who cannot cook. And because I am a self-trained cook from Australia who can put together a meal for 18 people, uh, I got elected and I've cooked Christmas dinner for uh, my uh, adoptive family ever since I came here 18 years ago always at the chateau of my mother-in-law on the other side of Versailles where we sit down to a beautiful table with antique uh, silver, antique uh, porcelain, a, a beautiful tablecloth uh, bought in a, a market uh, in, in the, the what they call France Profonde. And I describe in the book the way in which I put together this year's dinner, the, the ideal sucking pig, the perfect oysters, uh, the, the, the wonderful wine, the absolutely correct cheese, even the apples, the only apples that would really be appropriate to create the apple compote to go with our, our pig, whom I christened Pascal. Um, and I hope that it conveys some sense of my delight in being in, in France and my delight in the in simply in the pleasure of cooking and eating with close friends like yourself. I invite you to enjoy this fabulous and and savory book and discover the other seventeen Christmases that John has celebrated in Paris.